what's the matter? There's absolutely no acceleration. It, it won't go but a couple miles uh, an hour. Um, so have you looked in the engine compartment? I'm no mechanic, so. Everything looks okay to me. Well, I think we should call a wrecker. Yeah, I don't... I wouldn't know what I'm looking for anyway. Well, if it were real obvious, you'd know. Well, I've called two wreckers, flatbeds, and none of them can carry this because it's too tall. And when they get it on the flatbed, the trees and branches and everything are just gonna beat it up. That doesn't leave us a lot of options here. I'm gonna have to drive it. It's 11 miles to the Sprinter dealer, but this thing won't go more than 10 miles an hour. Well, I guess we're gonna test the patience of our fellow drivers. This is really tough. Going 10 miles an hour. This is gonna be a long, long ride. 10 miles an hour. Uh, this is taking me like an hour. Hour and five minutes to go 10 miles. Okay, at the dealers. So what was it? Let me show you. So what happened was mice got in the engine air filter. I couldn't see that when I opened uh, the hood. Uh, they uh, got all through in there. They, they, they uh, bit through the, the filter itself, uh, which was all covered up. If I had taken it apart, I would have seen it. But you can see what a mess they made. So they cleaned it all out. It all works fine there was no damage done other than I couldn't go over 10 miles an hour because there was no air going into the uh, engine but we fixed that now the challenge that we have is how do we keep mice out of there uh, the dealership had uh, had no real uh, solution to me other than they said some people put bars of Irish spring soap in some people put dryer sheets in some people put some mouse repellent packets that smell like uh, peppermint but then they said, none of those have worked. They see it all the time. And uh, it's just not mice that caused this problem. And it's not just during the cold winter months. You've got raccoons and chipmunks. And I hate to say it, even snakes crawl in there and make their home in there. So open the hood, look around and drive your vehicle at least once a week. So the mice that did that damage are called field mice and if you look right over there that's a mighty big field and um, we've got some trees we have a barn there's always mice in a barn but um, in the cold winter months this is truly um, you know a nice warm house for the mice they got a barn they could go to but I guess they wanted to live in a Mercedes so this could have been much worse my total repair bill was basically time uh, and it was a little under $200. Whoa. An expensive lesson, but it could have been worse. These things cause a lot of damage. They certainly do and it could have been worse. They could have chewed through hoses and other things, but $200, whoa. And um, we still have mice. I think we need a cat. Oh, we need about a dozen cats. I don't think Bo would like that. Give Bo but, something to do. Yeah. Anyway, that is our tale of woe problem solved but uh let's hope that the mice stay out and we'll have to keep a better eye on it uh, i'm sure you guys have had similar problems out there in the comments below share your experiences but uh we're back in the road until the mice get in again <laughs> we're mike and jen thanks for watching happy trails mm -hmm.